Hi everybody, Twee Meredith here with the Model Homesteader. Thanks for joining us today. We are heading up to Sneedville to go see a beautiful property. I'm very excited to go see, it's huge. So we are looking at 80 acres. There is a home on this property, three bedrooms. It also has two ponds, um, uh, possibly one or two streams and three barns. So let's get going. I'm happy to go see this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. All right, so Baxter and I have made it up here to Sneedville to this huge property. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys around. Um, like I said before, it is 80 acres and it comes with so much. The asking price is $475. Um, that's $475,000 for all of you, not $4.75. Um, and <laughs> But it does come with so much. So like I said before, there is a river and right over here where we just walked, the river actually goes through the property quite a bit. Even though it's more on the outside of the property, the nice thing is the land on both sides of the river on a lot of this is part of this property. So if you own it, you own the rights of the property on both sides for a great distance, which is really nice. Um, this is the house right here that comes with the property. Um, from what I am told, the house is uh, about 100 years old, or at least parts of it. There is a small add-on in the back that was added at some point. Now, we are here to sell this property because of the land, not the house. What I would do is look at the house as an added bonus. Um, the house is livable. It needs a lot of work. But if you are coming to do your homestead and you need a place to at least start and live, you can move into this house um, and then decide if you want to tear it down and build another house right here or if you want to take it further back on this huge property and take it away from the road because we are very close to the main road. This house does have uh, sewage and electricity and water. 
um, and there is electricity that is running um, along parts of this property right here near the front, just not in the back. So anything that you do further back, you would definitely want to do perk test, soil test. Um, you would want to bring in um, your power and you'd want to do a new septic somewhere too. Um, the house is listed as a three bedroom house. Now we're gonna walk you through it and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna say it's really more like a two bedroom and the reason for that is that when you go upstairs there are two bedrooms but when you walk in, you walk into one bedroom and then adjoining to that is another bedroom. So there isn't a hall or anything separating the two rooms. I would take those two pieces, those two rooms upstairs and make one a bedroom and the first one your sitting room or an office or something like that. There is another bedroom downstairs though, so that is the second bedroom that I would count. Now if you are desperate and you want to get on the property and get uh, living, maybe you are okay making it a three bedroom for you know a temporary amount of time. There is only one bathroom, it's on the main floor and um, as you will see it uh, it's going to have part of the old, the outside of the structure in the inside because there is some add-on to it and they didn't really change that when they put the add-on. Now one of the other things I want to mention though is that the barns, there is a lot of buildings here, a lot of structures that come with the property. Uh, one of them is a very large barn which is on this video for you to see and then we are going to walk by other ones. I think there might actually be three barns um, and hopefully we will find all of them on our hike. And there's also two ponds on this property too. So like I tell you, th this place has so much to offer. So now we're gonna take a walk around the house and then you'll see the inside of the house. Let's go Baxter. <laughs> here is um, over 100 years old, at least parts of it is what we are told. And um, we're going to show this to you because we think that for anyone who wants to do a homestead on this property, um, this is at least a move-in type situation. So even if this isn't the house that you want to keep, this would be a great spot for you to at least move in and figure out where you want to put your homestead or where you want to put the, the house on the actual property itself. So let's take a look. We're gonna go over this way. This is the front door that we just walked in. 
and this is your little living room. Peter, turn around, please. I want you to show that just very, very interesting antique uh, furnace slash stove slash I don't know what, but it looks like it's wood. Oh, yeah, it's a wood stove. With a little electric blower. Uh-huh, with an electric blower. So obviously used for other things besides heat. It's hooked up. Okay. Yeah, because I'm worried that how much it's picking up. Oh, it, it picks up just fine when there's no other ambient okay. sound. So this is one of the bedrooms. With the piano. <laughs> um, I don't think that the furniture and stuff come with right, it. Right. I, I believe that all of this will be cleared out. Yeah. We will double check on that. The 10 degree difference inside. It is very cool. And that's, that's true of so many older houses. Mm -hmm. They just, it's just cool. Which I don't know if that's necessary. I mean, for now in the summertime, that is great. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if it, it'll necessarily be uh, good in the winter time. Right. Um, it may not uh, have very good insulation if that's the case. So this is not a bedroom, but um, the lady that was living in it was much older. And so they had moved her bedroom area down into this room so that she could just easily access um, the main part of the house. But this looks, there's stairs going up so uh, this looks like this might have been another little living area, sitting room, um, sit, sitting room, exactly. Chances are I would take out this wall, but that is one sturdy wall, so maybe I wouldn't do a thing. <laughs> All right, so we have a little dining area in here. Yeah. I believe we're going to head back to the kitchen. I don't know if I'd change a thing with this kitchen. You have your hot water heater right there. Okay, look at that interesting, another piece. Talk about... Um, Archaic. Some, yes, some sort of very ancient timepiece. Wow. Oh, yes. this, this is more just for... Again, it's a burner. Yeah. Probably for heat. I don't know if it still works though, because they do have a furnace, uh, a portable heater right here. Yeah. But wow, that's just very interesting to see. Hmm. This is interesting. Um, the funeral home gives you a thermometer to check body temperature. I'm not sure. It's not. All right. All right, so back in here, looks like this is the laundry room. We have a refrigerator here, but this pantry. definitely looks like this would be the laundry room slash pantry room because you have all the water hookups here for mm -hmm. the laundry facility. It's a sturdy house. I mean, it clearly needs some work, or, but it's And this sturdy. was definitely an add-on because you can see here this oh, yeah. uh, has the, the wood shingles. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have a bathroom back here. We're not selling the house, we're selling yeah. the property. And the house is just something that comes with it. Yeah. Shall we go upstairs? I think so. Okay, so this is a bit interesting. The stairs going upstairs are very, very steep. Look at those giant steps. And I can see why they moved the <laughs> lady downstairs. Watch your head going up. Because okay. they're, they're really tall steps. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Or not. Okay. <laughs> Daddy's gonna pick you up. Come here, you. Watch your head and stir with this up. Wow, the stairs are yeah. interesting. Oh, and there's a little door. All right. So, 
we have another bedroom. Complete with hornet's nest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you come back? An interesting door. Remember how the whole house was warm? Uh-huh. Or huh. you mean cool? Cool. This, not so much. Okay. This is where Boo Radley lives. Here. <laughs> it's a little bit freaky in here. So, oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of bug. Oh, yeah. There's definitely some weirdness going on out here. I'm out of here. Doop, doop. Okay. And then we have one more bedroom. Right. But I'm just saying you could make this your bedroom and mm -hmm. that would be your office or sitting area. Right. Since that's what you come upstairs to. And here is um, another one of those little oh. flying monsters. Yep. All right. Let's be behind okay. that curtain. Why don't you check that out? Because I'm always curiouser and curiouser. It's just a very deep closet. All right, so here is one bedroom up on the um, upstairs of the um, house. And behind us, they have another bedroom, but since they are adjoining, and that is where you come up from the stairs, I would personally say that that would be your sitting area or an office and have this as your bedroom because it has a door for privacy. Yeah. This is the room we came up that I would probably use this as an office or, or whatever. Storage back Storage. here. Mm -hmm. Oop. Definitely don't want that in the film. So I flicked a tick out of my hair uh -huh. earlier. You're great. Yeah. There's a zapper wire right to my left. You're right. And that. <laughs> All right. So I'm told that this uh, was most likely like a tool shed um, of some sort. Uh, again, with all these buildings, I don't know what is salvageable and what's not. They all come with the property, but you'll have to determine if you buy this property what stays and what what uh, goes. Well, it didn't fall over, so that's good. That's always a plus. It doesn't fall over, and Peter kicks it. Now this is interesting because this was the original outhouse for this house before they had plumbing. And it comes with the property too. Um, but, uh, Can you demonstrate it for us? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's, a, it's an outhouse for very short people. Uh, well, you don't you usually need to be too tall. Maybe you step down in it. Who knows? So this has electricity running to it. There is electricity running to these uh, these few little buildings. This one I think is more of a storage shed, is a storage shed of some sort. But again, don't know if it is salvageable. Yep. Now, the family has owned this property for over a hundred years. I'm going to avoid these, so these lines. So yes, we still have power coming over here to even this building, which we are unsure of what is in it. And whether it's structurally sound or not. Right. And the power keeps going, in fact. Good. So if you follow this along um, into these woods here, past this building, uh, as Peter was saying, that the power continues. Uh, the reason being is there is actually a water source over there, a spring house that pulls water from um, the river here. Yep. So clearly, yep. the bridge must be okay. Right. All right. Oh, look at the little tiny little butterfly. Okay. Okay, yes.
I don't want to, I, I love turtles. <laughs> okay, so this one supposedly has legs and a head, and he's alive. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it. Holy moly's. He, look at this. He's Eastern there. Box there is n what kind? Eastern box turtle. Eastern box turtle. There is no messing around with him. Yep. All right, so we are on one side of the property. We want to kind of give you guys an idea of how you access the property. Um, and it'll be on the, the map up here that Peter um, pops up for you. But over here is the very large barn, the tobacco barn that we um, took a look at. And there is road access there. So basically you're gonna get off the main road onto another low road, and then there's access. You come on to the property where the barn is, and then you're gonna come down over here and you need to cross over this uh, river that is part of your property. So um, permit and a bridge I would highly recommend because the water levels are low right now and they do rise up. And so if you want to make sure you have an easy way to get onto this property at all times, you're going to want to build a bridge. We're going to walk up this way and head back towards the house and then start um, our way up the property of 80 acres. All right, awesome. So right behind me is one of the many um, buildings that are on this property. This is a very large barn that is included with this 80 acre property. Um, it was an old tobacco farm, uh, barn, excuse me. And so uh, we have some footage of it for you to take a look. Right now, I think it's really filled with a bunch of tires and some tobacco sticks or whatever. Um, it, it needs some TLC. It looks like the structure though is pretty darn sound and the roof looks really good as well, but it definitely would need some work, some cleanup and some, um, some new, um, what am I looking for, Peter? Some, some new yeah. beat, some new. Let's try that again. <laughs> you can see on the right here, there's a little spot. It looks like where you can actually store a tractor or anything like that. On that side, it's the same thing. And there's actually a tractor that is currently being stored under there. And then I also want to show you, so this is on one side of this large property that we're at. We're on like one end of it. All of this that is uh, currently mowed is part of the property. It goes around back behind this house. And then over here is the, um, the river. This river winds around the property, but not just around the property. It's actually on the property, meaning both sides of the land of the river is part of this property. So when you buy this property, you have rights to the river on both sides but yes 80 acres is a lot so it's going to continue to go on way back up there into those hills and we're going to take a, a nice big hike over um, lots of it to see a good portion of the property let's go all right let's go come on, come on baxter sadly all this adorableness comes at a cost you know I have to pay for my own kibble around here, so I've got to tell you about my daddy's books. He writes a lot of them, a whole lot of them, and today we're talking about this one right here, right here. Yes, it's very scary. It's the zombies and demons and terrible stuff like that. They are very terrible. There are zombies in there that no one's ever seen before, so if you like that sort of stuff, why don't you go take a look? Oh, on Amazon. Amazon? No, Amazon. Okay, back to the show. Big smiles. Big smiles. All right, so everybody, 
if you think that this is the end, it's the end, but only of video one. Because this property is so huge, we are gonna do two videos for this. So you're gonna need to check out video number two to see the rest of this amazing property. If you enjoyed this video today and liked what you saw, please do us a favor and like, subscribe to the channel, comment, comment, comment. We'd love to hear your feedback, what any questions you may have. If you are interested in the property, comment below as well. That way we can connect with you and hook you up with the, um, the listing agent. Um, and then also to ring that bell so that you get notified of any future video. I wanna thank you so much for joining us with this part of the video, and we will see you on video number two. Bye. Master. Say, see you in a few minutes, right? <laughs> or next week.